this is a theme park adjacent video because right that way is Six Flags St. Louis and right behind me, the Holiday Inn at Six Flags. Hey, it's Andrew Park Rovers and we are here at the Holiday Inn Six Flags at St. Louis. Let's check it out. What's interesting is there's a bit of history that dates back to the early 1800s. This was a stagecoach stop. And part of this building was constructed by Irish stonemasons. I'll link the history, there's a lot there. I'll link the history in the description. The resort itself opened in 1981. And it's pretty special because it is what's known as a Holiday Inn Holodome. Before we head on inside, I want to point out that there is a courtesy shuttle that takes you across the street to Six Flags. So it's uh, completely free and it operates every 20 to 30 minutes. So let's go on into the lobby. So here's a look at the lobby right as you walk in to the resort. I love the stained glass windows there. All around the resort, there's these wood signs and they tell you where to go. So right this way is the dining room, the lounge, meeting and banquet rooms, restrooms, and the elevator. And then we'll be checking out the fun dome Oh, this is cool. There's a whole thing on the, the history here. So here's the Haymarket restaurant. I actually had a breakfast buffet here the last two days. They call it the super breakfast buffet. So they serve both breakfast and dinner buffets, I assume. Okay, the banquet rooms are on the second floor, so we're gonna walk up there. Wow, great view from up here on the second floor. So there are different banquet rooms you can rent for events. Here's a look at the Missouri room. This is amazing. You have the stained glass on the right. Wow. Okay, I saw a sign to the fun dome and I got lost. So we're gonna backtrack. Yeah, this sign misled me. I don't know how you get to the fun dome from up here. So we're gonna head back downstairs. Oh wow, check this out. This old Six Flags St. Louis map. This is awesome. You can see a Nintendo Wii experience next to Scooby-Doo Ghost Blasters there. Papa John's. I love this map. Man. All right. Here's a locked bonus room here. Some pamphlets to local attractions. There's a silent auction right now, it appears. And I think this is the entrance to the Fun Dome. Quiet, please. Our Fun Dome closes at 11 p.m. Friday and Saturday and 10 p.m. Sunday through Thursday. Here we are, the Fun Dome. It's very humid in here. 
because there's a pool in the center. I'll show you that. So a quick overview of the Fun Dome. You have your tiki bar, um, and then you have a giant pool in the center, a hot tub. There's also a kiddie pool back there. And you have skylights, decorations up above. There's a little game center arcade on the left side. We'll check that out. Here's a look inside the bar here. Looks like you have Bud Light handwritten on the tap handle there. They have a handwritten beer menu on the whiteboard. You can also access the Haymaker restaurant from inside the Fun Dome. And the best part about the Fun Dome is there are guest rooms all around it. So two or yeah, three stories of guest rooms that you can stay in. Let's take a look at the arcade here on the bottom level. I love that there's plants around here and street lights have some vending machines. The Shocker, Super Bikes 2, Jurassic Park. Some prize machines, some claw machines. Oh yeah, they have a fun card you can buy. Nice. A couple other claws, Mario Kart. Oh, more claws down here too. And uh, air hockey on the right. Two air hockey tables. Oh, check this out. We got Miss Pac-Man. Galaga, and then Ghostbusters Pinball. Nice. Here's a pool table. So that's the arcade right here in the Fun Dome. Whoa, no way, is that the, is that the gym up there? How do I get up there? Whoa, and there's a sauna. Make sure there's no one in there. Yeah, there's a sauna here. Wow. <laughs> I didn't I didn't even know that. Okay, exercise room. I think we're gonna head up in here. Oh, so I think up above is just the storage area, and this is what you're working with for the exercise room. Okay. That's interesting peek right inside. Wait a minute. There's another door. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you can go up here. This is incredible. Oh, this is where I would work out. Not today. So you don't have to be in that tiny exercise room. You could be working out, doing yoga, lifting weights, using your exercise ball right here at the top of the fun dome. Okay, we gotta head down there. I haven't showed you what's down there yet. Here we go, down the steps again. So the fun dome kind of has like little sidewalks. And there's the street lamps. Lots of places to sit here. So down here is shuffleboard and a little putting green. You have to navigate around the chairs and the tables, I guess, a little obstacle course. I love this sign just sitting on the chair here. Kind of looks like you're not supposed to be using this stuff, but they have the equipment for it. So you can have a lot of fun here. Relive the glory days of the Holiday Inn Holodomes here. 
So now I want to take you inside one of the guest rooms. When I checked in, I did a full room tour of our suite. Unfortunately, I didn't get to stay in one of the rooms bordering the Fun Dome, but let's check out the family room. All right, so right when you walk in the room, you have two double beds on the left, and there's a little nightstand right between them. Have a phone, got some USBs and outlets there, a flashing alarm clock, and have the Gideons. Now the Gideons have not been here. And you got no storage under the bed. But you do have these reading lights. And across from the beds, you have a desk here with an Emerson microwave. Some art up above, your ice bucket, some storage space underneath the TV here, your mini fridge. And you have a Keurig with some provided K-cups. There's an LG TV on a swing mount here. So you can kind of rotate that between the two beds. And there's a table, two chairs. This room is connected to the bathroom on the left here. There's a full length mirror on the right. Before we go into the bathroom, I want to point out this is where you have your iron, ironing board, your luggage rack, and some clothes hangers. In the bathroom, this is where you have some washcloths and towels, very large mirror here. You have a wall mounted hair dryer, and some Kleenex right on the countertop. One sink, you have some body lotion and hand wash. Of course, your, your toilet, some towels, and wall-mounted Dove shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. Now into the other bedroom here. We do have a lamp here for the two chairs and table. And this room has a separate queen bed and you also have the same reading lights on either side of the bed with nightstands on either side as well. The phone, you also have outlets on both sides with USBs, some storage space, and across is an LG. Again, on kind of a little mount here and some storage space below the TV. I also want to point out that underneath the TV there are additional USB plugs, but only the outlets seem to work. So that's all from the Holiday Inn at Six Flags. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Park Rovers, and we'll see you next time. Now it's time to check out and say goodbye to the Holiday Inn Six Flags. So that was my room 102. I like that we could drive right up to it. I definitely recommend staying here for a night or two.